Conference Big Ten play starts, you got a slugfest on your hands. Going on the road to Big Ten is as hard as anything in college basketball. The Big Ten is the best conference in America. We want to win the Big Ten all right. That's what we plan on doing. Gary Harris, a rival of mine now, but uh, definitely I look him too as a big brother. I've known him since I was nine years old. Even though he's a sophomore this year and I'm a freshman, I'm, I'm nine days older than him, so I always pick with him about that. Zach always messes with me because I always call him little bro, but he always comes to me for some advice. In high school, and he says I don't give good advice, but I mean, he still comes to me for advice all the time, so that's why I always say I call him my little brother. I would say a story that describes our friendship would just be high school. I mean, we had a lot of good times in high school, and then we ended up going to two rival schools, so it's going to be my first time actually playing against him. You know, he actually committed before me, and we would mess around, like, what if I went to Michigan State and I go to Michigan, and we're going to be rivals. The funny thing is, that ended up happening, and we had little bets we made in high school after we both decided our schools. You know, it was fun, and now it's going to be surreal once we really finally play against each other. Green, three to shoot, two, a leader, no! Michigan, they win! Yeah. They win it by one! In high school, Gary and I made a bet, and the bet was that if Michigan State won, I had to wear a Michigan State shirt to school the next day, and if Michigan won, he had to wear a Michigan shirt. Yeah, I, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure you, I knew he was going to bring that one up. Michigan won, so I had to hold up my end of the deal, and I had to wear a Maze Ray shirt to school. So I took a picture of him at school in the Michigan shirt, and it got all over the internet. So that was pretty funny. I don't even know how I'm gonna react. I mean, it's not we, we haven't been through this before, you know. I mean, our dreams of playing college basketball, now we're finally playing it on rival teams, playing against each other, you know. It's uh, this doesn't happen too often, so it's pretty cool. It's gonna be fun to see how it plays out. What comes to mind when I think of my high school is just all the good times that Gary and I have had. I mean, we've known each other for a long time, you know, just high school just made us even better friends. That you know, was my running mate, I mean, when he was hitting shots, I was hitting shots, I mean, we really just fed off each other. One of us was down, we picked the other one up. We had a couple great memories in high school. Both of them were special players. First back-to-back -back Mr. Basketballs in the same school in the state of Indiana. I think that's something special. The state of Indiana has a lot of great basketball, and, and for those two guys to come up and, and do that back-to-back -back years, it says a lot about not only them, but I mean, all the hard work that they put in. I think the thing I've enjoyed the most about both of them is they're outstanding young men. They're what you want in a student athlete. Good kids on the floor, off the floor, and good representatives of what we do here at Hamilton Southeastern. They came to us with uh, a great set of tools in their toolbox. Mom and dad, in, in both cases, are, are tremendous leaders, tremendous parents. Had them prepared to be on the big stage long before they ever got here. So one of the best things is the quality of people they are. We all claim a little part of them because what they've done, what they've accomplished, not only here but in college so far, makes us really proud that we've gotten to be a part of their lives. Gary, and now that Zach's in school, they come back on vacations and come see us. And that's really special to me. That makes me feel really good. I need to stop crying. They talk to me and ask me personal questions about my family, about my daughter, about things in my life that most kids don't do that kind of stuff. And I think that's part of the reason why I care so much about them. It's, it's kind of sad and quiet around here without them. I will definitely have to say that. We miss them a lot. Gary and Zach. You know, they get together and you just hear a lot of laughter, just a lot of noise, basically, out of the two of them. I mean, they still act like they're 10 and 11 years old when they get together. This happened, uh, just say sorry to the Harris household. His senior year, my junior year, he has a little basketball hoop down in his, in his basement. A little Nerf hoop in a little small area, getting physical, and then next thing you know. And I actually put a hole in their um, basement. His foot goes through the wall, and then <laughs> we didn't know what to do. But they thought it was Gary's younger brother, so I, I kind of got out of that one. 
Oh. Oh. Cause the. Oh, I forgot all about that. We put two holes in the wall. Oh. Yeah. The only two teams unbeaten in Big Ten play will meet at the Breslin Center. It's Michigan. I mean, yeah, that's my boy and all, but I mean, we're not going to be boys Saturday. He's a Wolverine. I'm a Spartan. I tell Gary all the time, I'll watch you play. I root for you, but just you. But of course, Michigan's got to win. Yeah, Michigan's got to win. <laughs> for sure. After the game, somebody's not going to be very happy. Hopefully, it's Irvin's. But um, anyway. <laughs> we know Harris were in his back pocket all night long. When you can yes. deny him, deny him. To me, this is the best. This is why we all do this stuff right now. We are Michigan. Michigan. We value Wolverine excellence. Tonight we got one mission, and that is be safe. I didn't hear that. Be safe. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. I don't think I ever imagined that they would be playing against each other, especially at the Big Ten level. But it's very exciting and very blessed. Regardless of the outcome of this game, I mean, it's just a much larger picture to see where they've grown to now. You know, they're young men living their dream. I think both of them are still winners through it all. And what this crowd is about to see could easily be the two best teams in this league. I don't care what the preseason poll says. For Michigan State, no Adrian Payne, and they lose a ton there. And they also miss another key factor, Brandon Dawson. MSU going right to left to begin this major event between Michigan State and Michigan. Here we go. It's a big one. Walt backs it up with nine to shoot. Fires for three. Got it. Out of screen for Morgan. Fires for three. That's pure. Stauskas rises and fires from 15. And another bucket for Nick Stauskas. Glenn Robinson, pure shot from the left side. Knocks it home. And this team is fired up. I'll tell you that. The bench is fired up and everyone's ready to go today. With the ball with Bert, he's in trouble. And Harris takes it away. What a play there by Gary. Another steal. What a great one. Dumps it inside. Porter, easy jam. Keith on the move. Here comes Michigan State. Bank shot away. It's good. Leaves it for Stauskas' three, and he nailed it from the left side. He's wide open for a three ball. He got it. Michigan trying to find an answer for Gary Harris. Urban for three. Big hoop for the freshman right there, Zach Urban. Well, we said coming in, these two teams can shoot, and they're shooting. And it's all about the rivalry and Big Ten supremacy at the moment. Let's go! Let's go! Robinson down the lane, runs right into Bird. Bird blocks it. what this rivalry is a little bit about, huh? And now players are off the bench. Horford's out there trying to get his guys away. The intensity increases as the game gets closer. I love it. I think this is great. The guys are going at it. Nothing better than Michigan, Michigan State. 60 to 60. Here comes Michigan right to left. They've got numbers. Levert and a gallon. Lisa Christoskis. Ice to three. We've been here before. Need a defensive stand right now. Appling at a jog into the front court around a screen from Costello. Blocked by Robinson. Grabbed by Levert up ahead for Walton. Walton one on one with Trice. Leans in, finger rolls it. And one! I'll tell you what, these Michigan State fans are stunned. A tough loss for Michigan State and a major, major win for Michigan.
Give Michigan credit. Made the shots when they had to make them. They made the plays when they had to make them. And in the 30 years I've been here, I've never been prouder of a team. I played guys that haven't played in a month. And I uh, had a lot of ball with a lot of guys. Let me congratulate y'all. I don't want to. Man, I, don't, I don't want to. Come on. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. Hey, Gary did me. Oh, love. Oh, come on, Dad. Oh, Dad, you punched the clock. about 40. You gotta get... Yeah, it's What's up, What's up, man? If Gary Harris isn't the best player on both ends of the court in the league, then... Uh, Bless whoever is. Okay, let me get a picture of you and Zach. <laughs> <laughs> I ask my players before the game, make them feel proud when they leave this place. If they don't, that's their fault because this team played as hard as any team I coached this year. Z, what's good, baby? Thomas Harris, I'll see you.